Hi everyone, my name is Guo Wanyao, and I'm presenting to you my final year project, Improving Model Robustness with Adversarial Regularization for Image Classification. In this video, we will go through six parts. We'll first start with motivation and move on to methodology. We'll take a look at the dataset and then dive into the experimental setup. Finally, we will analyze the results and end with conclusion. So let's get started. Over the last several years, multiple research effort has demonstrated that deep neural networks are vulnerable to adversarial examples. In other words, the deep neural networks misclassify examples that are only slightly different from correctly classified examples. The existence of adversarial examples raises a variety of questions about out-of-sample generalization. Such vulnerability may bring serious ramifications. Attackers can cause the network to make perplexing mistakes simply by feeding malicious perturbed inputs to the model. To overcome such adversarial vulnerability and generally improve models against perturbed data, this project will demonstrate an adversarial regularization technique called neural structure learning from image classification task. The experiment will mainly consist of six tasks, namely inspect image data, pre-process data, build baseline model, build adversarial regularization model, evaluate the two models against adversarially perturbed data, and lastly, analyze the results. Let's first take a look at the dataset. The Beans dataset from TensorFlow will be used. It contains images taken in the field using smartphone cameras. The images can be divided into three classes, two disease classes and the healthy class. There are 1,034 images in the train set and 128 images in the test set. Each image is a colored image of size 500 times 500 pixels. We built a simple convolutional classifier as our baseline model. The baseline model contains three convolutional layers and three max pooling layers, following which are two fully connected layers to produce the final output. To build a regularized model, we first start by building another CNN model, but this time the adversarial training will be incorporated into this training process. The adversarial training is done with the help of TensorFlow's neural structure learning framework. You may ask, what is neural structure learning? Well, neural structure learning jointly optimizes sample features and structure signals existed among the samples in order to learn a better neural network. Specifically, we now have two types of inputs into the neural net. The first input is the features of a training sample, for example, the pixels of a training image. And the second input is the structure, for example, the graph representing the similarity among the samples. Both the features and the structure will be fed into a neural net for training. You may ask, how do we use the structure to help the neural net learn? Well, the structure is used to regularize the training of a neural net. Let me provide more details to you about this whole training process. First, each training sample is augmented to include its adversarial neighbor information from a given structure. Specifically, the adversarial neighbor information here refers to the features of an adversarial neighbor. So we get a new training batch where both the original training samples and the adversarial neighbors are included. Next, both the training sample and its virtual neighbors are fed into the neural net. After the training sample is fed into the neural net, its features activate different neurons layer by layer, forming an embedded representation for this sample. The adversarial neighbor is processed in the same way, so we will have an embedding representation for the adversarial neighbor as well. Then the difference between the sample embedding and its virtual neighbor's embedding is calculated and added to the final loss as the regularization term. So what is the intuition? By adding this regularization term, the neural network learns to keep the similarity between the sample and its adversarial neighbor. In other words, the neural net learns to maintain the local structure of a sample and its adversarial neighbor. By leveraging these structured signals, neural nets can learn with less labeled data and also become more robust. The table shows the overall results. The effectiveness of adversarial learning on improving model robustness is immediately apparent by the drastic reduction in our baseline model's performance on the adversely perturbed data as compared to that of regularized model. Performance on our baseline model has dropped 67%. On the other hand, our regularized model had only a 8% drop in performance. We can examine the effect of adversely perturbed data on our baseline model. We can observe in figure 6 that our baseline model appears to have identified the relevant distinguishing features that define each class. Angular leaf frost, healthy, and bean spot are made visible by the distinct color gradients. Now we can examine what features the baseline model identifies in the perturbed data. In figure 7, 
the networks struggle to represent the raw pixels in each image. The representative features are considerably more abstract due to the perturbation. In the image to the far right, it seems that networks managed to successfully retain the features representative of the angular leaf frost class, but the basic structure of the leaf is mostly lost. Although this is just a single convolutional layer within our networks, it still serves as a credible demonstration of how a previously good model can be degraded as a result of adversarial input data. In this project, we examine how the robustness of a CNN model can be enhanced using adversarial regularization. We also empirically show that the adversely regular, regularized model achieves better generalization results on the perturbed datasets than the baseline model that is trained without adversarial regularization. In addition, we also examine the effect of adversarially perturbed data on a conventionally trained model by, visual, by visualizing the intermediate layers. Thank you.